Bridal season is in full swing, and our next guest is the fairy Glamma to brides everywhere. Joining us is owner of Oat and Company, Oat and Co. Bridal Chanel, excuse me, Chanel Armstrong Fowler. Hi, Hi. good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Did we get that right? Oat and Co. It is. Oh, it's French, so okay. it's oat like an oatmeal. So oat means high class. So the name of our boutique is High Class and Company. Loving it. So Thank you, you open your bridal boutique exclusively for plus size women. Why? Because I had a good friend who was struggling finding a beautiful wedding gown for her wedding, mm -hmm. and she could not be seen anywhere. She was a size 26, and there weren't any wow. gowns available to her. So I felt like I can help her fix this problem, but I knew I wanted to fix it for a lot of women. Getting married is an incredibly special time, and you want to be able to look your best and feel your best throughout the process. And there's already like a, a lot of pressure on this experience already. So yes. To have that added pressure of not being included in sizing and in the fashion, that can be even tougher. Yeah, well, it could be tough for a number of reasons, but the biggest reason is it does something to a woman's self-esteem mm -hmm. when she feels like she's not fitting in, okay. whether it's in fashion, whether it's just getting regular clothes, we all want to feel like we fit in and there's a place for us. And we want to be seen. Okay. So there we go. So curves, they are on a trend and they've always been in. Yes. Let's get to some of these models that we brought. So McGrady is on the cover of the Knott's Fall 2019. Yes, she is. Nice. Look at her. Obviously, huh? I, I, beautiful, just beautiful. Hunter McGrady, beautiful size. I love it. So you brought a few bridal looks. Tell us about this model here. Okay. So basically, this is actually Jen. And Jen is modeling what we call boho chic. Boho chic is still incredible incredibly in for the season. We also have the color that's actually changing. So brides are moving away from ivory, moving away from white, right, and actually going with more color. The color she has on is actually called Rose Gold. And she has a detailing lace on the bodice, sweetheart neckline, and a soft English tulle skirt. Now I will tell you, darling, there's a big difference in tulle. English tulle is a softer tulle. It hangs better. Okay. It's a better quality of tulle when you put it on a gown, and it just accentuates her curves. And she's a beautiful woman who literally wants to own her body and her look throughout her wedding. I see you're creating a waist there and then the tool kind of just brushes the curves. Absolutely. That's what we love. Okay. Yes. Let's get a look at model number two. Oh. Look at Erin. Erin is what we call an absolute fairy princess. What we're going to find this season is a lot of gowns are going to have embellishment. Embellishment is always big in the season. Now we're going to see it all the way down to her arms. Under her skirt, we have what is called twinkle tool mm -hmm, with a mm -hmm. horsehair tool around the bottom. Now, see, this is not English tool. This is a horsehair tool, okay. which is a little stiffer. It allows her to hold the shape of the gown. This is a traditional ball gown. And here's a little bit of a secret. I will tell you, Felicia, if you want to really understand how to take a ball gown to an A-line, just remove some of the crinoline underneath, and it softens the look. Oh. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice. And I like that you had the option for the covered yes, arms too. Yes, absolutely. Not every woman is comfortable with her arms, but also if you're in a church, it shows that uh, you could be covered up a little bit. Absolutely. Too. Modesty is in in certain churches in the Chicago land area. Require brides to have not only their arms covered, but their arms, their elbows, as well as oh. their wrist. Okay. So wow. brides have to be really careful when they choose their gown based upon their religion. Okay. Good to know. Let's look at our next model. Ah, uh, Tati is wearing what we call the two piece. She is really rocking a heavily embellished gown. It is a trumpet silhouette, which is a great look for curvy brides. Oh. So, Tati, open up that second layer. So, oh, so it's, it's an two. outfit change. Yeah, so it's two. <laughs> just snap it open. Yeah. So you have two different looks. And so you have, when oh, it removes, it. she has this gown for the ceremony. She has the actual overskirt for the, cer um, the actual... Um, ceremony. She has a second look for the actual reception. Awesome. So she actually is doing a lot of embellishment and we find that again, embellishment is in and she is going with an actual white gown. Yeah, and then there's also so many different options for shapewear these days yes. too. So like women can, has, have to get a little bit more creative with that as well. Yeah, but I always would tell you, believe it or not, under most wedding gowns, there's enough boning and 
snatchability that you really don't need shapewear most okay. times. I always like to tell women, save the sexy for the honeymoon, get as comfortable as you can under your wedding gown, and then if you need shapewear, we'll make them available. There we go. Okay, and then here's our last look. And this is Mother of the Bride. We love Mother of the Bride. She doesn't get a lot of attention, but what we see with Mother of the Bride, one of the things that is really popular is navy. Navy is a huge color in mm -hmm. Chicago, and mothers like to have modesty with a little bit of coverage. And we know that our good Mother of the Bride, Norma, is really doing a great job with that embellished top, sweetheart neckline, and slightly covered sleeves. So she looks glamorous, but she also has modesty. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much, Chanel. We appreciate you. For more information or to book an appointment, head on over to the Oat & Co. Bridal Boutique.com.